Simplifying a sum or difference of radical expressions, we're asked to simplify as much as possible, and there's two terms being added. The radicals, though, that's where we want to start to see if we can simplify those. So looking at the first one here, the 3x to the fifth, if that x to the fifth, if it were an even exponent, I would be able to divide it by two and bring it outside. And although it's not even, I can rewrite that expression as 3w square root of 3x4 and then the other x. So there's still five x's underneath there. But now that I've got an even exponent, I'm gonna be able to pull that out in the next step. And the other one over here, I've got an x squared on the outside. Now underneath, it's got 12, but I can rewrite 12 as four times three, and then I'll be able to pull the four out because it's a perfect square. And I'm just gonna write the x w2. The w2 is already an even exponent, so I'll be able to pull that out as well. So let's simplify these. The first one here, the 3w is already outside. Underneath the radical, I've got an x4, and the rule is with an even exponent, I can pull it out if I divide the exponent by two. So four divided by two is two. The three and the x are still underneath the radical. In the next expression, the four comes out as a two because the square root of four is two and the w2 is an even exponent so I can bring it out as a w1 leaving me with the 3 and the x still underneath the radical because they're not perfect squares and then I can rewrite this one on the left 3 w x squared times 3x can't really simplify that any further but if I rewrite this one on the right just putting the number in front and rearranging things that's 2 w x squared and the square root of 3 x and you notice now that both of these terms have the same w x squared square root of 3 x and w x squared square root of 3 x so if I have three of those and I add two more, then I now have five w x squared square root of three x. I don't think it's a coincidence that these ended up being the same and allowing us to add, but the key here was from the beginning to simplify the radicals and then once we had the radical simplified, we ended up with some like terms that we could then add to get our final solution.